Congratulations to USA for winning Miss Universe. For me, well deserved talaga ni USA. And the first runner up is Venezuela, while the second runner up is Dominican Republic. What makes USA to rise above the rest to win the crown for the universe? And in this video, pag-uusapan natin ang five na stunning reasons why Arbuni Gabriel won as Miss Universe. Let's start with the first reason, which is the winning answer. It's because, obviously, competition po ito. And here is the question. If you win Miss Universe, how would you work to demonstrate this as an empowering and progressive organization? Yung Miss Universe organization. And this is her winning answer. I would use to be a transformational leader as a very passionate designer who've been suing for 13 years. I use fashion as a force for good. In my industry, I'm cutting down on pollution through recyclable materials when I make my clothing. I teach sewing classes to women that have survived from human trafficking and domestic violence. And I say that because it is so important to invest in others, invest in our community, and use your unique talent to make a difference. We all have something special when we plant those seeds to other people in our life. We transform them and use them as a vehicle for change. So, ito yung transformation leadership. Hmm. Number two. She really proved herself to be deserving as Miss USA with all the dedication, lahat ng kanyang sacrifice. Kasi when she won Miss USA, ang daming mga nagpost ng kanilang videos like uh, ang sinabi nila, Oh my God, this woman should not be Miss USA because uh, there's a favoritism and I think this pageant is rigged. Yung mga gano'n na eksena. Kaya, alam mo yon nakita natin talaga sa kanya yung passion, yung determination, and yung kanyang yung will to become the new queen of the universe. Kaya naman, nakita niya yung kanyang answer, ginamit niya yung kanyang experience as a fashion designer, and empowering talaga yung mga ginagawa niya pagtuturo ng mga suing to to the future fashion designers na through this talent magiging somebody sila in the future just like our Buni Gabriel. The third reason is having a very strong advocacy. Why? It's because she is a fashion designer and established her own company. So, for how many years yan, ha? And she used her company na as a tool to empower yung mga victims of human trafficking and yung mga nabiktima din ng domestic violence na may trauma. So, through suing, she is now helping these people para magkaroon ng way to become productive and as well as to have a therapeutic way to relieve from a post-traumatic stress disorder. And in this also, in this way, magkakaroon siya, siya ng chance to share her talent para maging future fashion designer sila. And perhaps maging beauty queen in the future like her being a Miss Universe. O, ba? Kaya, mm, bongga talaga ang eksena niyang advocacy na ito. The fourth one is... Nagkaroon siya ng pageant training experience. And aware naman tayong lahat na if you're going to participate in a national pageant or in state pageant, lalo-lalo na sa international pageant, you really need to have training, undergo training. Parang kapag bago ka mag -e exam dapat mag-practice-practice ka muna to perfect or to achieve a near-perfect na performance. So, may kikita nyo yung kanyang pasarela sa catwalk skills niya. Hmm, pulidong-pulido. And alam niya kung paano umeksena sa stage. And then, pati na rin sa gown. So, hindi basta-basta na, alam mo yun, kapag lumarampa ka, yung gown mo is, uh, alam mo yun, dapat may right angle, right na, na eksena sa katawan. To complement yung aura mo sa stage and to boost your confidence para i-display mo ang inyong sarili as an empowered female na representing your country. 
Fifth one is being a hands-on na tao sa kanyang mga crafts, sa kanyang work. So, being a fashion designer, she is very well aware na kapag hands-on ka sa lahat ng bagay, you can really observe yung mga strengths and weaknesses mo. So, yung nakita natin na strengths sa kanya is becoming a leader, yung empowerment Pero nakita din niya sa sarili niya yung kanyang weakness na dapat magkaroon siya ng gown na maganda, na pasabog. So nag-hire siya ng mga professional fashion designer talaga na well-renowned internationally. Kaya nga, grabe, uh, nakita niya talaga yung advantage if she will acquire the services of this particular profession para ma-elevate ang kanyang skill. And syempre, to help these fashion designers to display their creations. So, hindi lang uh, sa pagiging hands-on, nagkakaroon din siya ng opportunity to, to engage in collaboration, tapos na-elevate -e din yung level of skill and knowledge niya sa fashion designing. There is a symbiotic and transformational leadership na you can absorb learning, at the same time, you can share your learning experience towards others na pak na pak sa Miss Universe organization. Full package talaga si Arbuni Gabriel na nanalo as Miss Universe 2022. Nakita natin sa kanya na nagsuffer siya ng bullying, cyberbullying, tapos naging independent talaga siya, hands-on siya. Tapos, alam mo yun, hindi siya pa bebe. Makikita mo na wala siyang arte. Um, pwede siyang isabak kahit ano, pwede niyang gawin kahit ano. And she is really sharing her experience para ma-empower yung mga people na naka-experience din. Katulad niya or yung nagkaroon din ng worst experience ng, uh, piga, um, ng pagiging victim ng abuse, ng violence, yung mga ganun din. Kaya nakaka-relate din ako sa kanya because I myself experienced bullying. And siguro kung ako din si Arbuni, talaga namang I'm going to use yung mga platforms ng anti-bullying campaign dahil I think and I believe na makakatulong ako by sharing my experience and how to overcome it. Lalong-lalo na sa mga victims na hindi talaga nila alam ang gagawin nila and wala silang support system para tulungan silang makarecover from their traumatic experiences. Once again, I would like to congratulate Miss USA for winning Miss Universe and nakaka-excite yung kanyang reign. It's because ang daming promising na pwede niyang um, i-advocate for Miss Universe organization and of course for herself, for her family, for her friends and sa mga umaasa sa kanya, sa kanyang company. And I do believe na marami pa siyang matutulungan in the future. Um, especially kapag matapos na ang kanyang reign as Miss Universe kasi isa ito sa mga importanteng na nangyari sa kanya na pwede niyang i-share and maging mas inspirational pa sa buong mundo. Tsaka destiny talaga ni Arbuni Gabriel na manalo as Miss Universe it's because yung mga stars naka-align sa kanya. <laughs> and I'm so happy for her and sana she should enjoy herself as the new queen of the universe. Kaya sana nakarelate kayo sa mga pinagsasabi ko dito sa video na ito. I hope na may, meron din kayo natutunan kung ano man yung mga lumabas sa bibig ko. <laughs> okay? So, um, always remember to stay positive in life, whatever it takes. Uh, umiwas na lang sa mga bitter so, ignore, block, and move on. <laughs> okay, that's it, guys. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.